Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations. x plus y is equal to 2 and x to the power 5 plus y to the power 5 is equal to 32. We need to find all possible values of x and y. So, let's start. Let's call this equation equation 1 and this equation equation 2. Now, we take a square of both sides of equation 1. Equation 1 is x plus y is equal to 2. And we take square of both sides. This uh, x plus y whole squared will become x squared plus y squared plus uh, 2 times x y is equal to 4. We move this uh, 2 x y to the right hand side then this will become x squared plus uh, y squared is equal to 4 minus 2xy. Let's call this equation equation 3. Now we take cube of equation 1. Equation 1 is x plus uh, y is equal to 2 and we take cube on both sides. This uh, x plus y whole cubed uh, will become x cubed plus y cubed plus uh, 3 times x y times x plus y is equal to 2 cubed is equal to a. Now, in place of this uh, x plus y, we put the value of x plus y 2 from equation 1. So, this will become x cubed plus uh, y cubed plus uh, 3xy times in place of xy we put the value 2 is equal to 8. Next, x cubed plus uh, y cubed 3xy times 2 will become plus 6xy is equal to 8. Now, move this 6xy to the right hand side, then this will become x cubed plus y cubed is equal to 8 minus 6xy. Let's call this equation equation 4. Now, we multiply equation 3 and 4. We write the left hand side of equation 3 x squared plus uh, y squared and we multiply this by the left hand side of equation 4 that is x cubed plus y cubed is equal to so we write the right hand side of uh, equation 2 that is 4 minus 2 x y and we multiply this by the right hand side of equation 4 that is 8 minus 6 x y 8 minus 6 x y now this uh, x squared times uh, x cubed will become x to the power 5 and x squared times uh, y cubed will become plus x squared y cubed now, y squared times uh, x cubed will become plus x cubed y squared. And y squared times the y cubed will become y to the power 5 is equal to this uh, 4 times 8 will become 32. And 4 times negative 6xy, negative 24xy negative 2xy times 8 is negative 16 and a negative 2xy times negative 6xy will become plus 12 x squared y squared. Now, we rearrange these terms. We write this x to the power 5 with this y to the power 5. This will become x to the power 5 plus y to the power 5. From these two terms, uh, we can factor out x squared y squared. 
plus x squared y squared as common factor and in bracket left x plus y is equal to this 32 negative 24 x y minus 16 x y will become negative 40 x y plus 12 x squared y squared. Now we replace this uh, x plus y and this uh, x to the power 5 plus uh, y to the power 5 with 2 and 32. Value of x to the power 5 plus uh, y to the power 5 is 32 plus uh, x squared y squared times value of x plus y is 2 is equal to this expression 32 minus 40 x y plus 12 x squared y squared. Now from these two terms uh, we can factor out 2. So 2 as common factor in bracket left uh, 16 plus uh, x squared y squared is equal to from these three terms uh, we can factor out 2. 2 as common factor in bracket left uh, 16 minus 20 x y plus uh, 6 x squared y squared. Now if we divide both sides by 2 this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and here we are left with 16 plus x squared y squared is equal to 16 minus 20 x y plus 6 x squared y squared. Now we subtract 16 and we subtract x squared y squared from both sides. So this get cancelled, this get cancelled and this get cancelled. This is 6x squared y squared minus 1x squared y squared will become 5x squared y squared. This negative 20xy, negative 20xy is equal to 0. Now from these two terms uh, we can factor out uh, 5xy and in bracket left uh, xy minus 4 is equal to 0. From here either this expression 5xy is equal to 0 or this expression xy minus 4 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of xy is equal to 0 and from this equation we get the value of xy is equal to 4 and we have the equation 1 x plus y is equal to 2 x plus y is equal to 2. So we have two systems. Now we solve this system first. From this equation if we move this x to the right hand side then we get the value of y is equal to 2 minus x. Now in this equation in place of this y we put this value of y 2 minus x then this equation will become x times 2 minus x is equal to 0. From here either x is equal to 0 or this 2 minus x is equal to 0. And if we move this uh, x to the right hand side, then we get the value of x is equal to 2. So from here we get two values of x 2 and 0. Now to find the values of y, we use this equation. So y is equal to 2 minus 0, y is equal to 2. And from here, y is equal to 2 minus 2 and y is equal to 0. 
so from here we get uh, two pairs when x is equal to 0 then y is equal to 2 and when x is equal to 2 then y is equal to 0 now we solve this system we move this uh, x to the right hand side then y will equal to 2 minus x and in place of this y we put this value of y 2 minus x so this equation will become x times 2 minus x is equal to 4 and x times 2 2x x times negative x negative x squared is equal to 4 we move these two terms to the right hand side then this will become x squared minus 2x plus 4 is equal to 0 this quadratic equation is not factorable so we solve it by quadratic formula according to quadratic formula x is equal to negative value of b is negative 2 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write in negative 2 squared minus 4 times in place of a we write 1 times in place of c we write 4 divided by 2 times in place of a we write 1 x x is equal to negative times negative 2 will become positive 2 plus or minus this negative 2 square is 4 and 4 times negative 16 will become negative 12 divided by 2 times 1 2 and x is equal to 2 plus minus this square root of negative 12 can be written as square root of 4 times square root of 3 times square root of negative 1 divided by 2 x x is equal to 2 plus minus square root of 4 is 2 times square root of 3 this square root of negative 1 is i divided by 2 next x is equal to from the numerator we can factor out 2 and in bracket left 1 plus minus root 3 i divided by 2 so this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and from here we get 2 values of x x is equal to 1 plus root 3 i and x is equal to 1 minus root 3 i now to find the values of y we use this equation y is equal to 2 minus x y is equal to 2 minus x y is equal to 2 minus x so when x is equal to this expression then y will be equal to 2 minus 1 plus root 3 i and this will become y is equal to 2 minus 1 minus root 3 i and y is equal to 1 minus root 3 i now when x is equal to this expression then y will be equal to 2 minus 1 minus root 3 i and y will be equal to 2 negative times 1 negative 1 and negative times negative root 3 i will become positive root 3 i and y will be equal to 1 plus root 3 i so when x is equal to 1 plus root 3 i then y will be equal to 1 minus root 3 i and when x is equal to 1 minus root 3 i then y will be equal to 1 plus root 3 i and uh, first we found the values of x and y 0 comma 2 and 2 comma 0 so the final set of uh, solutions of uh, x comma y is equal to 0 comma 2 
and uh, 2 comma 0 and uh, 1 plus uh, root 3 i comma 1 minus root 3 i and another pair 1 minus root 3 i and uh, 1 plus uh, root 3 i. So, we have uh, 4 pairs of uh, solutions. This is the final answer.